In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Ghostbusters, but we're not talking about any Ghostbusters because we're talking about the real Ghostbusters because Walmart and Hasbro have teamed up to reissue these classic style Kenner action figures on this original style looking Kenner card back, which is really cool and impressive, and a joint effort to help promote and get the Ghostbusters name back out there for the release of the Ghostbusters Afterlife movie that was originally scheduled to come out this summer, unfortunately, due to current events. Not going to happen to that movie's got pushed into 2021. However, that's not going to stop us from busting these ghosts and these Ghostbusters loose out of their packages and getting a closer look because, well, busting makes me feel good. And before we start ripping them out of the packages, I just got to applaud Hasbro for how well they did with this reissued card back for these Kenner figures. So there are very, very small changes to the front of the card. Um, for the most part, it's probably like 99% accurate to the original Kenner card backs. But as you can you know, understand, they have to make some changes to make sure people don't get duped into thinking these are the original. But as far as little minute changes they did, so like the... I ain't afraid of no ghost bubble here on the original card back for the Kenner, for the original figures. It has a little tail for the comic bubble. Um, this one doesn't. And then like this little box here with the dialogue where it says action zapping ray with neutrino blaster and proton pack accessories. Uh, the original one, it's like slightly up raised higher. It's, it's more kind of like thigh and knee where this is like knee to all the way down to the bottom of his boots. But other than that, like the front of the card is like just spot on like the, even got the the classic Kenner logo down in the bottom corner and the back of the card is pretty faithful as well the only real differences with the back of the card is um, the original wave one releases had you know extra toys and advertisements so like here I had a, a kid playing with a proton pack here you know advertising go buy a proton pack or something like that or a proton wand I can't remember exactly what it was but I remember there was a little kid always here um, and then other things on the back of the ghost you know buy different ghosts and the ecto one things like that but for the most part the back of these cards the front of these cards are absolutely beautiful i can understand if people don't want to take them out of the box but i'm going to take them out of the box i got stuff first up we got mr ray stance as i knock him over and oh well man down but figure looks great um very very faithful reproduction very minute changes like the back of the the proton pack holder, the original one was kind of like an octagon shape. This one's a little more circular. Um, but overall, I mean, it, you look at this figure and you know exactly what they were going for. The real Ghostbusters Kenner line looks, you know, identical in almost every single way. Got little markings on the bottom of the feet to let you know that this isn't an original. So in case you're digging around at a convention somewhere and you find this and it's in a, a loose bin, just make sure you're checking the bottom of the feet to verify that you're not buying a reissue and you're actually buying the original one if that's what you're going for pack itself little subtle changes to how the proton blaster attaches to the proton pack just clips on there everything's the same you know we got our twisting action overall very cool I, I do like that it still has the little ghostbusters emblem there but good old ray and his rapper ghost you know the rapper ghost this is really one of the biggest changes in the figure is they've kind of changed like the tent of all these ghosts that didn't come with our Ghostbuster friends. Um, they just are a little bit of a different color. So again, uh, something to help you differentiate a original wrapper ghost and a reissue wrapper ghost would just be the color um, since this doesn't have any markings on the bottom or anything like that. But call the wrapper ghost because, you know, his tail un unwinds and can wrap around our uh, our heroes so let's move on to the next one and of course we got mr winston zedmore looking classy as always great paint detail got the ghostbusters emblem there on his shoulder proton pack's going to be identical just a different color plasma beam there we got light yellow it's the color we're going with here he's got a closed fist open hand Again, markings on the bottom of the boots, letting you know that these are the reissue figures. And he comes with a chopper ghost. Chopper ghost, you know, you can put it on your finger, have a little finger puppet, but aptly named the chopper ghost because of its beak. Throw it on his arm there. And you have a chopper ghost attacking Winston. Then we have Mr. Peter Vinkman. 
Peter looking great as always with his bright green eyes. I mean, look at that. And this figure, looking comparing it to the old original one, I think this one's like I don't know, slightly different proportions. It's, it's like they narrowed his face a little and his body type, just minute little changes there again to help differentiate the old and the new, but overall, spot on. I, I love having these reissues. Um, especially with the card backs and everything. It's just, it's really nice to have that bright green wand, twisty action, you know, everything's the same. You got our yellow, yellow string. He's got his belt attachment there. And of course he comes with a grabber ghost. Grabber ghost looking fearsome as always. Teeth extra detailed. You know, they got the spikes in the spine on the back of his Backside, the back of his head and everything, and of course he's a grabber ghost. He can grab by latching on to our hero's throat. Oh no! And we have Mr. Egon Spengler. Now this is something I've definitely noticed between the originals and these reissue is his glasses look extra, extra thick. I don't know if it's just the paint or what, but especially on this, this right side of his body here, um, it just looks super, super Coke bottle glasses. I mean, he always had thick rim glasses, you know, his whole life and history of the character, whether you're talking about the movies or the, you know, animated series, but man, I mean, that just, that's super thick. Either way, looks great. Got his nice uh, hair coif, jumpsuit. Again, iconic shoulder emblem. This is a darker, like almost pink salmon color, if you will for his stream, looking great. And he comes with a gulper ghost. Again, different shading color tint on these ghosts. You know, put them in your finger, or you can just put some ectoplasm in his stomach and have him gulp that way, or you can just throw him, throw him on his head, boom. We got a ghost eating poor Egon. Great pairing. Absolutely love him. And then we have the Green Ghost, AKA Slimer. Um, he wasn't aptly named Slimer yet, so he was known as the Green Ghost in the animated television series. Comes with a couple of accessories. Comes with a stake. It's only painted on one side. Um, it's kind of soft, rubbery plastic. You can bend it. Don't worry about breaking it. And comes with a pizza, pepperoni pizza. Again, only painted on one side. It won't sit there in his mouth on its own. You gotta kind of have to prop it in there and hold, use his hands to hold it up. And of course, we've got a watermelon. Again, all this soft, rubbery material. Interestingly enough, they painted the, both sides of the watermelon. Didn't do that for any of the other ones, but his tail rotates. So if you want him standing like this, you'd have to have some sort of figure stand or you can rotate his tail and then he will lay flat on the ground. You can rotate his arms up, of course. Have him in his frightful attack mode. That's one thing I really kind of wish they did add, though. Um, I know they're you know trying to keep as faithful as possible with these reissues, but I wish they would have included some sort of like clear plastic stand where we can have him kind of hovering like this, as opposed to always having to display him like this on our shelves. So that's one little minor thing I, I wish they would have done to add to uh, kind of improve upon the originals, but I understand why they didn't do it. Either way, it looks great. The detail of his mouth, and teeth, the eyeballs, the color. Either way, the Green Ghost, aka Slimer. Gotta love him. And last but not least, of course, we have Boom! Big Boy himself, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Uh, cute as can be, adorable, menacing, Depending on your perspective, again, he's a nice, soft, almost like rubber ducky material. You can squeeze him, he doesn't make any noises, but I mean, it's almost like Pillsbury Doughboy. Hoo-hoo! Arms rotate up and down, very limited with your, you know, articulation. I mean, that's, that's all you get, but that's really all he ever did. Legs don't move, they're all molded. Bottom of the boots, you know, you got your 2020 all rights reserved, so you, again, know that this is a re reissue and not one of the originals. Of course, most of the originals nowadays are probably a little tinted in their color. This is bright white. I mean, that's one of the good things about having these reissues. If you want to 
replace one of your old school toys or something like that or maybe display this one instead. He is bright shiny white. Your old toys are probably starting to tinge a little bit and have a little khaki color to them. Absolutely, absolutely love it. And of course he's got his stay puffed around the band of his hat. Menacing expression, happy expression. Like again, it's all a matter of perspective, but you gotta love the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, and you gotta love the real Ghostbusters. Absolutely recommend you pick these up. $15 a pop, in my opinion, is quite reasonable, especially for bigger figures like Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, um, and that classic Kenner card back. I mean, that just screams nostalgia. So, highly recommend these figures. Pick them up if you get the chance. If you're new to the channel, highly recommend you subscribe as well for more great nerdy content. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.